People often think that making a lot of money is difficult. And they're right. I can tell you that from my personal experience. But what usually happens is that people usually make silly mistakes along the way that prevent them from getting rich, even when they're making a lot of money. How do I know that? I've made these mistakes myself and have learned the lesson. When I was in college, I used to make just enough to pay all my bills. And I used to think that if I just make twice the amount that I currently make, I will be living like a king. At least that's what I thought. But in reality, even when I started making multiple times more, things didn't really change. Yes, of course, I stopped worrying about how am I going to pay my rent next month. But I didn't really notice a significant change in my lifestyle. But more importantly, I didn't feel like I'm getting rich. After analyzing my spending habits, I realized that the problem wasn't in how much money I make, but rather the silly mistakes that kept me struggle financially. So let me share them with you. Number one, you rationalize when you overspend. When you live paycheck to paycheck, you imagine that when you will start making more money, you will start investing. But what happens often is that you will start spending that money elsewhere by the name of investing. You will start taking an Uber instead of a bus or eating the exact same meal at a more expensive restaurant or just buy more clothes that you will never wear. The worst part about it is that in order not to feel bad about yourself when you waste so much money, you will start rationalizing that you are investing in yourself when in reality you are just wasting money. I'm not against living comfortably or going to expensive places. I myself do that every now and then. But you have to understand that overspending will keep you where you are. Just because you are making a lot of money today doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever. So you have to manage your money more responsibly and stop lying to yourself more importantly. In fact, if you want to upgrade your standard of living or invest in yourself, you don't necessarily have to spend a fortune. There are plenty of other ways. Number two, budgeting based on your current situation. Time is such a strange thing that we don't even realize how fast it passes. It feels like it was just yesterday when I was a little kid, but now I'm a grown up adult. And one day I will be a grown up old man. What we don't consider is that as we age, our expenses grow one way or another. Just think about how much money you used to spend 5 years ago, for example. I'm sure that it was much less. And you know what? 5 years from now, your expenses will only grow further. So when you budget and plan your finances, do not only think about today, but consider your expenses 5 or 10 years from now. You might start a family, have kids, so you will no longer be able to simply rent a room or a little flat like you do now. Five years looks like a long time. You think that you will figure something out by then, but you won't. You will just keep postponing it until you find yourself in a situation where your expenses are way more than your income. So you will be trapped in this paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. And that leads us to mistake number three. You keep postponing money management. Most people do not consider money management important. It looks so simple and easy that we often ignore it. I mean, look, I have my paycheck and these are my usual expenses. What am I supposed to manage? When you don't have a clear understanding of where your money goes, you end up spending it carelessly. A dollar here and two there, and then at the end of the month, you will be wondering where on earth did you spend your entire salary? In order to avoid that, all that you have to do is to stop saying, I will figure out later and start managing your money. Money management isn't just about where you are going to spend your money, but how. How can you minimize your expenses? How can you use your money more effectively that it earns you even more money? These are the most common mistakes that I often see people making. Of course, it takes time and dedication, but if you aren't ready to manage your finances, you shouldn't be complaining in the first place. And now go ahead and click on that bell button, because if by any chance you are a subscriber and you want to see my next video, 
it seems like YouTube isn't going to notify you unless you do that. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.